So Jesse McDonald posed the question to me, why is SEO difficult? Um, I have a couple different thoughts that I want to share about that. But first of all, I'd like to start off with, you know, just the, the, the simple quick answer. Um, why is SEO difficult? Um, and, I'm, and I'm generalizing this because I don't think SEO is difficult. Okay. But I think that maybe the masses think that it's difficult. Uh, because it is something that they don't understand or it's something that they can no longer manipulate as easy as they once could. Um, SEO is difficult today in 2016 compared to how it was say in 2003 uh, or even when I first started doing you know link building before I knew it was called link building or SEO for that matter um, back in 1997, 1998 uh, adding a couple links, getting uh, you know a title tag changed, uh, made all the difference in the world. Uh, it was truly easy to SEO back then. Simple changes could could make uh, huge differences. Now, I think the reason why most people feel that SEO is difficult today, um, it's because they can no longer trick the search engines. It's because they can no longer make those. Um, those simple changes that make uh, overnight uh, differences. Uh, I think that one of the reasons uh, we got spoiled for a while was, you know, it was easy for us to pay someone to submit to a thousand directories um, with an anchor text keyword and rank overnight um, or, or fairly quickly. I think today, um, gaining links, earning links, however you want to call it, uh, outreach, you know, all the traditional PR stuff. I think that uh, most find that a lot more difficult. It's time consuming. Um, I have a couple theories on this. One of them, I believe that it's because we're in this day and age of, of uh, instant gratification. Okay. Like we want the new thing yesterday. We want it. We want stuff happening right away. Okay. Uh, we're not patient anymore. We're not willing to work for it. We're not willing um, to do what it takes to truly uh, stand out in the search engines, okay? Now, I love that, actually, okay? Because this is something that we've been doing for a long time already. Back in the days, now, I'm not saying we didn't do any of that other kind of stuff. Um, you know, when there was a directory submission was a thing, you know, we did directory submission. When article sites were a thing, we did articles. Uh, we always tried to do quality no matter what. I mean, we weren't buying spammy links or what would be the equivalent of going and trying to um, buy followers on Fiverr or whatnot. Um, you know, it, we, we worked hard at doing, you know, we used those uh, tools, but we did it, I guess if you can say it was the right way, but we did it the right way. Um, but we were creating, besides that, we were creating awesome content. We were creating content that, um, you know, like a lot of the stuff we do at Avalanche Media today uh, involves the visual creative content. Um, so we do a lot of visuals and we were doing infographics and, and really awesome stuff with uh, graphics way back before we even knew to call them infographics or whatever. We just created what we thought was really awesome content that was in the form of an image or whatever. And uh, we started throwing stuff out there and uh, people started linking to it. Um, we started getting front page of digs for stuff that we did. Uh, we started uh, doing well, well on sites like uh, Reddit started just blowing up traffic for uh, companies on StumbleUpon when StumbleUpon was more of a thing. Um, and to this day and age, we're still doing stuff like that. You know, we're still uh, creating the kind of content that's being shared hundreds of thousands, if not millions of times on, on other kind of sites, you know, like obviously Pinterest. Dig is no longer a thing, but, um, you know, we go about creating the right kind of content that's going to be shared, that's going to be talked about, um, that's going to do what we want it to do. It's going to earn links. It's going to get people talking about it. It's going to get the press. And uh, it's going to help us with our SEO efforts. Okay. And so because we've been doing this for so long the right way, SEO is not difficult to me. Okay. Now, obviously, there's a lot. What, it, what kind of SEO? Okay. The, the technical SEO, all the on-site stuff, the behind the code stuff that's got to be done, making sure the website's... Um, whether it's responsive or loading fast images, all, you know, there's lots of stuff like that. But then, um, you know, the more traditional stuff when a lot of people say SEO, um, you know, why the, the companies that aren't liking it are those ones that have all 
a lot of them that have gone out of business because they're no longer able to offer a thousand direct resubmissions, 40 articles, a hundred bookmarking, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. And, and, you know, and succeed with it anyway. And so that's why it's difficult for them. Okay. We've been doing this, like I said, for, for quite some time where we've been creating this kind of content uh, that makes the SEO efforts uh, easier. Now, um, to me, because like, you know, anytime we work with a, a, a new client, we, we make sure all that back end stuff, the technical, the technical SEO stuff uh, is already working properly and is done properly. Um, you know, we go through audits, we make sure that, um, you know, whether it be link audits, social audits, content audits, uh, just normal SEO audits, uh, we go through all of that process. I mean, that's always stayed the same. There might be a few more things to check nowadays than there was um, you know, back in 2000 or even mid 2000s, late 2000s even, but, um, you know, the, the whole concept of making sure the site is built as properly as possible for what Google's looking for, and then providing the kind of content, providing the kind of, um, information that people are searching for, you're providing that solution, you're answering the question, um, you're giving people a reason to want to be a part of your community or your brand or whatever you're doing. Okay. It's just other things are in the mix now. Other things like, uh, you know, the social side of things. Okay. Uh, how shareable is it? You know, um, using those kind of platforms to help push out the virality of something. Okay. And then the more viral something is, or, you know, even if it's not viral, you know, if it's getting out there to, a good amount of people even if you're within a small niche and the right people are seeing it the right people are writing about it the right people are are giving you links because of it you know this is going to help the uh, the SEO process so I guess to, to sum it up um, because we've kind of never changed the way that we've done things we've just evolved and we've gotten better um, SEO is not difficult for us it's not difficult at all for us um, but I can see how it's difficult to a lot of the masses, especially those that are brand new getting into this. There's so much misinformation out there. There's so many blogs telling you, you should go and do this, or you should go and do that, or they go to a conference and they hear someone telling them how important link building is, and then they see on Fiverr that they can get a thousand links, and so this whole process starts again. So I understand the, the confusing side of it, and I feel bad for anyone that is just getting into it, having to wait through all that, okay? And so in that term, it is difficult, okay? Um, but again, the, the question was posed to me, is SEO difficult? And I take that as, you know, to me, to my company. And so the answer is no. Uh, but hopefully that gives you some perspective or at least kind of my take on it. Um, and you learn something from it. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, participate in this video and share just some of my insights on it. And uh, look forward to hearing any kind of feedback or questions that people have guys have questions definitely feel free to um, pose them in the comments reach out to me on Twitter very easy to find just Google my name Matt Siltala my company Avalanche Media I look forward to hearing from you and helping you <music>